Hi everyone, welcome to Asami Rat Care. So today's video is going to be along a similar theme to my last one, which is a little kind of quick idea that's not quite a nice way to cool down your rats. Um, this is by popular request from my Facebook group who, who would like a few more of these kind of videos. So what you'll need for this one, you will need um, a ice cube tray, tray. Mine is very trendy and has fish on it. It doesn't need to have fish on it. It can be whatever shape you want. Um, this just happens to be one of my favorite ones. Um, you'll also need some string and or some pipe cleaners um, and some sort of liquid like with yesterday's i'm using um, supplement water uh, daily essentials water but you could use any kind of tea somebody had a really good suggestion on my youtube channel of chamomile tea which i thought was a brilliant idea um, i might try that but i would have to go into the house and actually boil the kettle and then let it cool down i'm a bit lazy to do that um, i might do it for the rats later on though. and then you'll also need dry mix um, of some description. So what we're going to do with this, it's nice and simple, we're going to fill the ice cube tray with dry mix and um, not fully all the way, kind of text. we don't need to make take up every single bit of space in there but we want to kind of get a decent amount of food in all the ice cubes. Um, the idea being that we're going to fill this up with um, liquid once we've done this, we'll see whether I've actually measured out enough liquid here, I just kind of poured some in, if not they can have water ones on those. Um, and this basically will make some little kind of ratty ice lollies, hang, hanging uh, ice lollies. Okay, yeah, no. um, what I will say I have done on this, because we're using quite a bit of dry mix, I've actually weighed out the amount of dry mix I've got here so that I can make sure that I don't overcompensate and give them a load of normal dry mix on the day that I give this. Right, so there we are. We have some nicely stuffed little fishes. And then what I'm going to do, with some of them, I'm going to put these pipe cleaners in. So um, the idea with these ones is stick it down a little bit so it's well in and then just kind of bend, bend them slightly out of the way so that it'll stand up quite well in the thing. Um, I'll just do a few of those. So these ones will in theory, and bear in mind, this is experimental, I've never done this before. <laughs> um, but I thought of the idea and got really excited and so we're now, we're now doing them. Um, so I'll do a few of those and then what I'm going to try and do is get several of the rest on the same piece of string so that we can have um, kind of fish on the wire which I thought would be quite appropriate with the choice. So what I'm doing with this is I'm trying to make sure that the string or the cable tie goes right down and is actually wedged under at least a piece of food so that when I end up putting the um, liquid in it'll, it'll work quite well. The other thing I'm doing is making sure there's a decent loop between them, I don't want them too close together. so. We shall see how well this stays in. Um, I think the cable tie ones may work better, but there's nothing if, if you can't like try new things now and again. Much like the rats benefit from enrichment, so do we. <laughs> right, so put those all in. Um, and then once we've done this, all we need to do is top it up with fluid again. Um, so I'm probably going to do that for that. I'm going to do the others with cable ties because it's a bit quicker. You could in theory use um, kind of the wire that you would use to hang things on the cage. I use a lot of garden wire. Um, but the advantage of the cable ties, not the cable ties, the kind of pipe cleaners, is they're furry so that the ice will grip onto it quite well. Um, which is something that you kind of want to consider to a degree. Um, now all of these are kind of coming out because I haven't really um, got the knack of getting them to stand up. Right, okay, so we're just going to fill them up. I try not to overfill, but I probably will. And I'm trying to get um, liquid in all ends. I'm also getting it all over the surface. But to be fair, this is rat proof, so it doesn't matter. The, the joys of plastic. Um, this may be a little easier if you use um, something like a, a big syringe or such to get them in because they're Particularly when you're using interesting shapes like I am, uh, makes it a little bit harder for, for you to kind of make sure there's fluid in everything. So that's all in there. Ooh, I missed one. This one nearly didn't get anything to attach it. So actually that works fine doing it afterwards. Right, and I'm just going to make sure that the string and everything is well embedded. Um, I do expect the rats to chew this off, but that's half of the fun for them. They have to kind of catch their dinner. So there we are. Um, this is slightly floppy, so I'm not going to kind of 
zoom in too much but it gives you a bit of a feel we've got lots of food in there liquid and then various forms of attachment right so i'm going to stick this in the freezer and then tomorrow morning we shall see what happens i'll get a video of the girls having a go at it as well so um sadly i don't have a hayes one i made earlier for this because this is the first time i've made it um, so we'll see if this experiment works so bye for now so here we've got a video of the um little fish ice cubes all made so you can see the ones that i put on the string have um dangled quite nicely and then we've got the ones here that are on the cable ties so not cable ties sorry um pipe cleaners that are quite nice so i can attach them about to the bars with there um they're working quite well pop out really easily and um, we're holding the shape very well so we shall see what the girls make of them i'll pop them in the cage and then give you a quick video um of what they're up to so first go the fish thing they've already got two of them off <laughs> Um, but you can see straight away just how much fun they're having um, with the ones on the string. Um, I don't suspect it'll take them long to get any of these off, to be honest. Um, but that's half the fun. They're enjoying it. Um, some of them, actually, you can see there that they're splitting bits off them. And let's try adding um, a cable tied one. <laughs> now this is meant to be attached to the bars. Um, I do actually need this should explain that I have not yet fed them, the, fed them the morning feed so this is half their morning feed roughly speaking right um so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this briefly and stick all the rest up and then we'll see what they do with it so we now have various um, bits and pieces around the cage um you can see that they're actually really quite enjoying um fishing for them even though there are loose ones around um there is more there's one on the bars down there and there's another one down here Get a mug. Thank you, girls. Um, but yes, great fun. They are enjoying this. They'll, they won't last too long, but while they're here, they're giving them a nice cool treat and they're enjoying themselves a lot.